Okay, so this is pretty difficult. We have an industry here, construction, which is you know, not exactly enjoying the best of times. Big competition-related expenses, somewhat murky building cycle looking slightly better. But I'm not a big fan of either going short of stocks or not doing anything at all, Levan. So I'm kind of looking amongst this lot for a stock that we ought to be getting involved with, not necessarily for a lifetime commitment, but to see whether the generally improving cycle kind of gathers a bit of steam. They've all had the bad news. They've all sort of soaked it up. I don't know. I mean, of the stocks we've been talking about, the one I'd be keenest on would be Wilson Bailey. And the reason is we've owned it before in the portfolio and made a little bit of a gain on it. I'm a bit anxious that some of the others might still have more trouble coming down the pike. How do you feel about that? Are you happy enough to put your name on that one as well? We've had a fair amount of <laughs> polarity with our choices. And you I were noticed. going hot <laughs> and I was going not on a number of these stocks. I believe in general, whilst the construction industry is plagued with historical problems, yeah. Uh, and it is a cyclical business. I think right now, if you're a portfolio buyer, you're mm. getting into some of these stocks, which are interesting. You're getting in at a very low level. Yeah, um, and I'm inclined to agree with you. Whilst I didn't go hot on this one, uh, for a few reasons, uh, I've gone hot on some of the others. Yeah. I, I'm not altogether opposed to the sector. Yeah, so not I think the worst situation. And as you say, it's better to uh, buy stock or put on positions after the bad news has kind of come and you know, the mood is very poor and so on. At the first sign of any kind of good news, they could turn a little higher. I agree. It's an eyes open decision. Um, so whilst uh, this has run hard and you probably will see that bullish trend continue, mm -hmm. um, I'd, I'd like to time the purchase. Uh, but certainly uh, for... Uh, for a, a derivatives trade, I think you'll see a Yeah, few look, I think the all-time high was sort of in the low 170s. We must have owned them in the portfolio during this sort of period where they were bouncing higher and higher. And since then, I think that's when the competition announcement comes out. You know, there's been this, that, and the other, some results announcements, you know, no fireworks. But lately, this is probably just a generalized sell-off in the market. And it's uh, retreated to a nice uh, uh, baseline. So I think you'd probably do well uh, okay. purchasing it. But not on be a too end. brave. Okay, let's have a look at the profit tracker number. So we've been hovering around 133, 134, 135. Yesterday, ouch, big sell off in our local market. Took a big hit on a Discovery position, a big hit on a Woolies position, and a bunch of other stuff which just kind of sold off in the overall market. Although I will tell you that today we're in the green again. So, you know, what can one do? But that's the nature of the game. So we've dropped below the 130,000 Rand mark. We've still got quite a lot on there, though, Levan. Overall, from a macro point of view, with a bunch of positions in the market at the moment, would you be getting the heck out or would you be adding at this level or just trying I'm, to keep your head down? I've been buying very selectively over the last few weeks. I've been advising clients to buy companies that are showing strong earning potential. Mm. You mentioned Woolies. It's been a stock pick that we both uh, agreed on previously. And it's results up, today, boom, results, up again. Yeah, yeah, it's up 6%. Yeah. Uh, Sunlum's another one that I've been buying. Their results are out uh, next week. Mm -hmm. They're going to show you plus 40%. So amidst the, uh, the, the market being at, at all-time highs, there are a number of businesses that are giving you very good profit announcements, mm. and those are the sort of ones I think it's wise to be buying earnings. And, and be a little brave. Good. That's it.